Hey, this is Mick. This is uh, just a quick fire, a quick video to show um, if you create two tool paths with the same tool. I, you know, there's been some discussion on the forum. I just checked it. Um, I've just drawn a 10 by 10 square piece of material. I did an 8 inch circle and a 4 inch square on center. If I go with the tool path. The first one is um, I'm going to use a one inch, uh, quarter inch end mill. I'm going to do the square here. So what's important is I have tool three, but it makes a difference. Um, then for the other tool path, I have the circle, uh, quarter inch end mill again tool number three so that's good I go to uh, save the tool paths at the very top output all visual tool paths to one file I select uh, the one which is the square I select the circle um, it shows here tool number three I have a WinCNC uh, post processor it's not an ATC or an FTC click on save tool paths I already gave it a name so we'll just call it uh, Doug file one dot tap it's gonna say okay I've already got it okay fine I come down to the bottom go to um, WinCNC I have a stinger um, screen up click on file open Go down Doug's file, click on preview, and as you can see, we get both tool paths in one file because it's the same tool. Okay, hope this helps. Thanks. Bye.